What is up, beautiful babe? Sweet angel in the building, girl. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me for just kind of putting up, putting, putting y'all on hold for so long? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm getting ready to get this day started. And I want y'all to come along with me. A few things I need to do. And I'll just talk about them kind of as we go today. You know, I have to get my day started. So let's get to the kitchen and make some tea. But y'all, before we do that, if you're new to this channel, girl, please subscribe. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Come on, subscribe. Because it's got plenty, plenty over here for you to uh, like hang out and, and check out. So please do that. But let me get to the kitchen, make me some tea, and I'll be right back at y'all. But girl, hold on. But I got to tell y'all about the teas I've been drinking and how amazing they are for me. Okay, I just got to tell you that, right? Got to tell you, I love, I love sharing. Yes, yes, yes. In the kitchen, here we are, y'all. My life has changed so much. I have got to get back on my tea kick. I was pretty hot and heavy for a minute, and then I kind of fell off. But let me tell you, I do use um, two different teas right now. I drink two different teas. The first one is dandelion root tea. And actually, y'all, to tell you the truth, I put them in the cup together, okay? Both of these teas. I've been drinking this tea for a long time. I absolutely love its earthy flavor. And, you know, it's it's known for its rich roasted taste, which makes it a great coffee alternative if you're if you're like into drinking coffee, but you want to cut back on caffeine. Plus, it's packed with vitamins and minerals. Make me feel good. It does. And uh, then I put in here another tea bag, which is green tea kombucha. Y'all know kombucha is all over the internet now. It is fermented. It's a fermented tea um, that's been around for centuries. And green tea kombucha combines the benefits of green tea with the probiotics from fermentation. So you know where I'm going with that, right? So it has this tangy but yet refreshing taste that I find invigorating. Now, combining these two, honey, I love it. I love it. It's, they're just a great, great pick-me-up. And it's also like drinking this tea is just a, a great alternative to drinking some sugary sodas or juices. And if you haven't tried it, honey, I highly recommend either or or both like I do. And you know, I got my link in the description box, so y'all need to check it out. Again, either or or both, the dandelion root tea or the refreshing green tea kombucha. Both of these options have a lot to offer. And just a reminder, I may say this more than once because it's very critical these days that I let you know I am an Amazon associate. I earn from qualifying purchase. That doesn't affect your price, okay? The links down in the description box are my affiliate on Amazon. So check them out. And please be sure to let me know in the comments if you've tried them, if you love them, or if you're planning to go pick them up. Okay, let's carry on with the rest of this day, girl. Let's go. Next project on my to-do list today, wash my makeup brushes. Y'all know how important it is to keep your brushes clean. Now I use Dial Antibacterial Soap on my brushes. That's what I've been using for years. I've had no problems with it but some people have you ever looked at a video or you looked at your best friend and looked around and saw how dirty the makeup brushes are do y'all know how disgusting that is did you not know that makeup brushes do harbor bacteria that can transfer to your skin that leads to breakouts and acne it's just it's just dirty okay it's just dirty and even if you have ever used dirty makeup brushes to put your makeup on. It's just not a, a good experience. Clean brushes apply makeup more smoothly and evenly, giving you a flawless finish. And honestly speaking, you know, it's just maintenance. Regular cleaning keeps your brushes soft and keep them in good condition and actually extends their lifespan. Now, if you have been dealing with any skin irritations, 
probably because your brush is dirty. Check it out or either check out what you're using to clean them with. Dirty brushes can cause skin irritation and sensitivity. Washing them removes irritants and allergens. And then better color accuracy. Yes, like clean brushes ensure true color payoff from your makeup products, avoiding muddy or mixed shades. When you've used that brush before, you know, you got residue from the time before or the time before that. Stop that, y'all. Stop the madness. And you can definitely reduce your risk of infections by regularly cleaning your brushes. That's going to help eliminate harmful bacteria and reduce the risk of infections. And overall, you can save money. Some people, instead of washing their brushes, they go out and buy some more. You know, by prolonging the life of your brushes through proper care, you can save money on replacements for sure. Now, we know brushes accumulate oil, dirt, and skin. Yeah, dead skin cells. And washing them removes those impurities and will help keep your skin healthier. I'm an advocate if you don't realize that, okay? And y'all, if you would, uh, check out my brushes because some of these I've had around for a long time. But, you know, clean brushes just prevent product buildup, which can affect the performance of your makeup products. Or you might say, oh, this brush don't work like it used to. Yeah, because it's dirty, girl. Clean it up. Some of those brushes be so dirty, every bristle is like separated. Stop the madness, y'all. Stop the madness. And overall, your clean brushes contribute to a healthier skincare routine, which you know I am an advocate for. Ensuring that you're not reintroducing dirt and bacteria to your skin. You got to stay on top of your game, girl. And as I said, some of my brushes have been around forever. And I was just going through sorting them out, looking at them. Because again, I've had them for a minute. And I just wanted to reorganize. I got that cool brush set from BS Mall, which I love that. You can see that right over here to the right hand side. Those tiny brushes. Those are like my travel brushes. I love them so much so much and honey the rest are just you know mix and match from when I was purchasing brushes which I was not not washing my brushes I just got hooked on the idea that oh my gosh there's just so many brushes out there I like to try this I want to try that and I did I did but anyway that is it I'm going to go ahead and put these brushes in their proper place and honey are we going to carry on? Because there's more to do today. Okay. All right. So now I'm getting ready to go ahead and fix Baby Royal. Her, well, I can't say breakfast because she's asleep right now. It's actually like brunch more or less when she wakes up about maybe 1 or 2 o'clock. She had a very unusual night last night. So it's a little bit off schedule. Excuse all the background noise because we're in the kitchen, the ice maker, we got the washing machine going in the laundry room that's right next to the kitchen. So it's busy off in here. So y'all already know how it goes. So right now I am going to cut up her a couple of strawberries, half of a banana, and she's also going to get half of a peanut butter sandwich. So let's go ahead and begin preparing her breakfast. Let me rinse off the strawberries and slice up the banana and go ahead and get everything prepared. Everything is finished. Uh, in case you want to know, this little set came from Amazon. It's a two-set plate and um, fork and spoon set. It has, well, it's a different color for the other platter, like a green or something like that. And it came also with the fork and the spoon, but this is really cute. But this is when I'm feeding her some type of, like, oatmeal or something like that. So this is everything prepared. 
I'm going to actually probably eat the same thing. We are all trying to stay as healthy as possible, but I won't need these, so I'll just set those aside. But that is her food prepared today, and I'm just going to cover it up. And listen, a new trick that I discovered for Mike and I. Y'all remember when they came out with the plastic bags to cover up food? Well, I buy hundreds of processing caps. And guess what? I just use some of those for covering up her food until she wakes up. So, um, the great part about these old platters, I can put her in her little seat and they have like suctions under the bottom, if you can see there, and it just sticks on so she can't drag the plate off of her um, high chair or her seat. So that is her food. And I know it looks like a lot, but I prepare a little bit extra because some gets dropped on the floor. You already know that, and then she won't be eating that. So that is that. So I hope you enjoy today's little feed your little toddler baby. <laughs> <laughs> their lunch and things to prepare. I will be sharing different little meals that I prepare for her throughout the day. Now, understand, I eat like this and most people eat like this. A lot of times what she eats may appear to be like breakfast food to you, but it's actually dinner. But it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make sure she get her nutrients in, her proteins in, and so forth. And more than likely, um, today, let's see, for drinking, let me go ahead and get that ready as well. I am just going to fix her some apple juice, half and half apple juice, half and half water. I kind of went overboard with the juice, didn't I? Oh yeah, she's going to enjoy that so much. Oh my goodness. These little cups here. These are Tommy Tippies. They make the cutest little sippy cups. And she's gotten so many of those um, to try out. So this is it here. But I like it because it has the lid built on. And no matter which way she tilts the cup, she'll be able to get some of it. Because this little weighted bottom here. It will move whichever way the juice is. So, and you just pop it up like so and cover it back up to ensure that, you know, there are no germs that gets kicked on here or uh, any spillage. But for the most part, it is pretty much leak proof. You know, it doesn't spill out easily unless there's juice already in the nozzle and she steps on it or something like that. So that is it. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm pretty sure y'all can hear that Baby Royal is up now. She's enjoying one of her favorite shows. And I just wanted to tell you also, I had mentioned this in a previous video, uh, you know, like a couple of videos ago, uh, about a pesky cough that I had that wouldn't go away. And I decided to try the Better Lungs Mulan Leaf Extract. Still loving it. It's a supplemental design to support lung cleanse and respiratory function for healthy breathing. It's a tincture drop that's non-GMO and vegetarian, which fits perfectly into my lifestyle. So love that so much, but I am continuing to take it each and every morning when I get up or sometime during the day whenever I recall it. It's right on Amazon. So also check this out when you get a chance if you're looking for a natural way to support your respiratory health. I do highly, highly recommend this. And definitely, you'll be able to breathe easier with better lungs. All right, y'all, I am now getting ready to go ahead and do something you hadn't seen me do on camera in a minute, and that's do a little workout here. Listen, I've got something new here. Thanks so much to Run We for sending this over to me. It's the three handle kettlebells weight. Now I have it in a 20 pound kettlebell it comes in 5 10 15 and 20 now this i have recently started doing and i'm really trying to get into more strength training so this is going to help me with that whether you're doing a, like a russian twist weightlifting or core fitness exercises 
these kettlebells here yeah you're going to need it just check it out you know and what i love about these kettlebells you know they do come in a variety of weights but you have the handles the three handles that provide a versatile grip for different exercises the design is super convenient and comfortable to use i'm just putting in a few uh, snippets of my exercise here on this particular day and I'm just showing you how you could potentially use them so yes I am definitely getting equipped and used to this one it's pretty heavy uh, but I know I have to just focus on my form and get that going and um, so I don't have to worry about the kettlebell slipping so yeah I'm saying incorporating kettlebells or weights into your workouts is a great thing pick this one up on amazon as i told y'all before y'all already know i'm an amazon associate and i earn a commission on qualifying purchases so just remember that and it is prime baby prime today and tomorrow the 16th and 17th of july so get busy get yours today and i feel so much better incorporating these weights i can really and have really noticed a significant improvement in my core strength and overall fitness so this has really helped up my game and i will continue to do this and i've gradually worked up to this 20 pound because i have weights of 5 and 10 8 as well but i definitely needed this to intensify my workout so again grab yours today the run we three handle kettlebells on amazon you're gonna be glad you did y'all you're gonna be glad you did up your game girl up your game and i'm gonna finish my workouts and i'm going to hit y'all up on the next video so take care until then make sure you don't skip the description box that's where all the goodies hang out at okay and i'll see y'all on the next one bye now